hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is abisodo and if this is your first time here welcome today i'm going to be showing you how i made this delicious and yummy looking turkey sauce and without wasting much of our time let's go ahead and start cooking here i have my turkey already in the pot and i'm going to be boiling this to boil the turkey i'm going to be using some salt I'll be adding in some onion that I already chopped and diced in small sizes. I'm going to be using some seasoning cube. Next, I'm going to be adding in some curry powder. And then I'm going to add in rosemary leaf, the fresh rosemary. And then add in some water. If you do not have rosemary, you can use thyme or any herb spice and also i added just a little bit of water because i want all the flavor to be infused in the turkey so i'm going to be boiling this till it is dry now i'm just going to place this on the stove and leave to boil till the water is really really reduced now the turkey is ready this boiled for 35 to 40 minutes and as you can see the water really really reduced it even started to stick to the pots now this is what i was trying to achieve if you're wondering where the oil is coming from the turkey produced all this oil after the water dried up and i'm going to be using that oil in my sauce next i'm just going to go ahead to cut the turkey in small sizes Till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And we'll go. After cutting the turkey in small sizes i'm just going to transfer this into a bowl and then i'll set this aside in this bowl i'm going to be mixing the sauce and now i'm just adding in some light soy sauce i'm using about four tablespoons of light soy sauce light soy sauce is not as concentrated as the dark one so four tablespoons is fine the color is not going to come out so dark if you want a bit of dark color then you can add one tablespoon of dark soy sauce now i just added in one tablespoon of sesame oil and then i'm going in with oyster sauce i'm adding two tablespoons of oyster sauce and after this i'm going to be adding in one tablespoon of lemon juice now i'm going to be adding in two teaspoons of cornstarch powder and then some water now I'm just going to mix it up together till it is well dissolved and properly combined. Now that my sauce is properly mixed, I'm just going to set this aside also. Next, we are going to start to fry our sauce. I'll be adding in a little bit of the turkey oil, about one and a half tablespoon of oil, and then I'm going to add in some onions. I'll stir fry these onions for about 30 seconds, and then I'm going to go in with my carrots. Before I forget, please do not discard the rest of that turkey oil. It can work perfectly for your pepper sauce. So now I just added in the bell peppers and um, I'm just going to mix it all together. I'm just going to be stir frying this on medium to low heat for about 4 to 5 minutes. After stir frying, I'm just going to add in the sauce into the veggies. I'm going to increase the heat to medium to high heat and then I'm going to stir fry together. After about 2-3 to three minutes, you realize that your sauce is going to start to thicken. Once the sauce starts to thicken, I'm going to add in the turkey. Now you're just going to properly mix the turkey and the veggies together. Afterwards, I'm going to add a little bit of water just to loosen it up a bit. If you like to have more juice in your sauce, you can increase the quantity of um, water you're going to be adding. And then if it's too, too um, liquidy, 
you can add in some cornstarch diluted with water and then it's going to thicken up it's so simple it's so straightforward you're pretty much just going to be stir frying this for about three to four more minutes and then your sauce is ready i know some people are eyeing me i'm wondering where's the pepper in this if you like this sauce to have some heat you can add your chili flakes you can add fresh habanero pepper you can add chili powder whatever it is just make the sauce your own and you're still going to enjoy it i'm going to be serving my turkey sauce with basmati rice if you love turkey this sauce is going to be a hit for you you're definitely going to love this so i'm just adding in my sauce on my rice and i'm ready to dig in if you've watched till this stage thank you so much you're the real mvp please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section below let me know if you're going to be trying this share this video to your friends and if you're new here welcome to our amazing family i have so many recipes coming your way please, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button on the right hand side and i'm going to see you in my next video bye